hello beautiful and um, welcome to my channel today I would like to do a video on my house plants that live in my bedroom because I mentioned in the my latest video that I will be doing an update on my house plants in my bedroom and um, actually I kind of like um, organized them um, all mostly by the window so it's more like I call it uh, my bedroom um, window garden so let's begin um, looking at them and I'll tell you the name of um, the house plant that I have in my bedroom so in my bedroom, I don't have a lot of light. There's no light fixture from the ceiling. I just have like a few um, lamps and it's not giving a lot of bright light. And I right now I'm having um, the fairy lights on. And today the, it's very gloomy and cloudy. And this is the best um, from far away shots that I can do um, right now so because um, I'm trying to get like the overview looks where they are and hanging and below the window but let's take a closer look Up in one corner of my bedroom, I have this sparkly pearl pink basket that I turn into a planter because I usually don't use regular planter to decorate um, my plants that living inside my house, especially in my bedroom. So this is a golden pot though. And I want to also say that um, most of my plants in my bedroom are good for air purifications. And below that, this is called the Aristine Herbs D. It's a blood-like looking plant, the color. And it is right now propagating in water. And I think it's going to live in water also instead of having it in soil because I like most of my plants in water if they're capable of living in water. So this is Aristide Herbs tea, and I got all these cutting from my boyfriend's garden. Just want to give you guys a closer look because this plant is kind of rare for most people and it is a succulent and it is an indoor house plant and so far it's doing very good in this corner because you know if the good sunny day my um, bedroom do get a lot of light So now this one is the, um, I forgot the name, um, it's called the Anthidium. I have to pause a little bit to try to remember the name. And this plant, I love it because it says that um, this plant has the most longest bloom and my boyfriend gave me, this is the second one he gave me, um, this plant with the all these blossom blooming that when he gave me in um, April, now it's the middle of May and so far all the balloons still stay and looking good and it is red and I do see it comes in pink which is 
I would like to get the pink one in the future. The flower, the flowers and the leaves are like thick rubber, rubbery feeling textures. So this plant is also um, good for air purifications. And next to that, this is called the jelly plant. The leaf is also thick and rubbery. And on the edge, it has like pinkish to it. It looks very pretty. Now I do have this plant outside in soil and I took a small piece um, out from the bigger piece and kind of like experimented um, propagating in water and so far it's been about a month now that's in water and it's doing good so I like that. Now the next plant is called the silver pot though. It's also good for air purifications. And behind that is also a pot though. And The leaves are like this, kind of like white or cream color with green, and it's called Jade and Pearl Pot Dough. Good for air purification. And next to this, um, I separated from the rest of it, and I do have the rest of it outside on my patio and I have this one placed in my pink plastic princess basket also and it is called the Cali Lily and this is the blossom of it the flower and I do see it in white and pink also and um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not showing sure pink, but in um, orangish or yellowish color. So I got that one. And it is good for air purifications. And next to that um, is the peace lily. I had this plant almost a year now. It will be a year in July. It hasn't gave me flower yet um, this spring, but it gives me a lot of new leaves, and it is good for air purification. And again, it is in the pink princess basket. Now, in another corner of my bed, I have um, this neon pot though. It's my latest plant that I got and I was so happy and it was the last one I found at Walmart and the leaves is very neon color looking so it's easy to remember neon pot though. Another good ear purification plant and I have them in another sparkly pearl basket. I have three of them. It it comes with three different sizes. I was so happy that I found all three. Now there's another one of the um, Aristotle Erbsty succulent also propagating. It grows roots already. Its root is like fussy fussy looking. So I think it's going to do good also in water. And I kind of like break off a lot of branches and just leave a few on top like this. So it looks nicer. Look like a little bonsai thing. 
and in another in another basket the corner of my bed above my bed is the silver bottle now this one is in water that basically it um all my plants in my bedroom I'll just give you a little tour of my bedroom then since we're done going really fast I love pink and crowns and hello kitties a lot of DIY stuff and my closet usually half open because it usually organized <laughs> don't mean to brag but yes I try to another overview of my window garden I have my pink tree with Hello Kitty ornaments my DIY princess lamp, my daughter Jada, Bugaboo, extra pillows down here, and blankets inside the storage box for guests, if then I have guests. And this, I have another tree from the Hobby Lobby. Love trees and things and plants and flowers. This is my daughter' personal things here that I set up for her in my bedroom. She doesn't really use it. She's only eleven, but I'm just preparing. You know, there's lots of lip glosses and jewelry, hair stuff. You know all the other good things books toy things like that this is my bed i call it wild glamp as you can see i have leopard prints and fussy fussy throw blanket pink and sparkly pillows lots of pillows i even have a sign tell my daughter at night when she comes over have a wild sleep so she usually do a silly sleep with arms and legs everywhere she's like that's a wild sleep they, she said if mommy you want me to have a very good sleep or nice sleep then you have to change the sign not to say have a wild sleep and the sign says stay for a while and I have my purses this is a small bedroom so I have to be creative behind my door my door usually stay open all the time I have some of my bags so far it could fit one two three four bags but I took one down and yes so I have like th three coach bags hanging and one more pink bag on the door Mark Jake the bags and the rest of the other bags by my bed so I'm utilizing there's another bag bag purse coach bag well I'm utilizing all the spaces that I have and I have to keep it organized everything has to have a home well I hope you enjoy watching my video if you enjoy watching this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming no um, video notifications 
thank you have happy spring and i'll see you in my next video stay beautiful and be blessed love you bye